So July 31st of 2020, we were going to be getting a Marvel film. Up until Disney just dropped it and cancelled it. Okay, so we don't really know what the film was gonna be, um, what the ideas around it were, or even why, but essentially what's happened is Disney, uh, like many studios, is reshuffling right now to uh, better accommodate some of their movies that are going into longer post-production or are gonna need more time. So Jungle Cruise, starring The Rock, moved from December of next year to July. Okay, but it would have been a week before a Marvel movie was scheduled to hit on July 31st. So instead of shuffling that somewhere else, Disney has decided to just outright remove the movie, thus canceling whatever it was supposed to be, leaving us with two films for the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Now there's no news yet on why this was done. Maybe James Gunn is probably uh, the cause of it, because Guardians 3, you know, we don't really know. But honestly, um, this isn't really surprising or shocking. But I think what's more shocking is that that year we could be seeing only two possible Disney MCU films. But I guess I'll talk about that in a little bit. Um, what I find like kind of crazy about it, though, is that a Marvel movie shifts, right? Like, this is the bread and butter of Disney making their money every year. So clearly there's something here that's going on, but then again, we don't know what they intend to do with the Fox movies, right? The Fox placeholders, is Fox gonna be like a Sony type of deal where an MCU movie doesn't count for their own studio, but since it's through Fox, it accounts for that? Who knows? Um, maybe they're just not ready to announce yet what it's gonna be. Maybe one of the TV series is gonna take its place because they wanna put the budget into that and put it onto the Disney Play service. Anyway, um, it's interesting. Um, you guys let me know your thoughts on this and why do you think it was cancelled.